The reason why I hate the army so much is because they think they can get away with anything. Oh, come on now, you can do better than that. Every Anzac Day, they get sucked into it all over again. And I have to go along and listen to the stories about how much of a great guy my grandfather was. The perfect soldier, the perfect dad. I love you with all of my heart. I want you to marry me. Yes, of course I will marry you. Really? Of course I will. <gasps> So one fight, a couple of fights, what's the big deal? The big deal is that we agreed, one fight, and then we talk about maybe you doing more. I know exactly who Rick Dolby is. I've been waiting for a chance to settle things with him. When I'm finished, there'll be nothing left. It's probably best if we rearrange it for tomorrow morning. Mr Bartlett will be heading out shortly. Yeah, that's fine. No problem at all. Okay, thanks. But you're still here. Oh, Maddie, hi. Yeah, I've still got heaps of paperwork to get through. The fight. Oh, it's tomorrow night. You must be excited. Oh, don't know if excited is the right word. Uh, you right to meet up at eight? Yeah, uh, we could meet at my place, go from there. I was thinking more the surf club, less questions. Oh, what? From Tony and Rachel? Don't worry, they're so wrapped up in their little engagement they wouldn't notice if a bomb hit. So you know. Yeah, and I'm totally fine with it. Although I do envy them. They're so loved up, it's sickening. Tony's not the only guy in the bay, though. If you start rattling off men's names and telling me there's more fish in the sea, I'll be sick. Wouldn't dream of it. Roman's single. Not my type. Not anymore. I'm looking for someone who can commit, someone more solid. I'll get you a minibus from somewhere. We've got to get you to that final. Matilda, hello. Do we have an appointment? No, I just wanted to talk to Jazz about something. You mean Miss Curtis? Yes, I do. Sorry. It's just a personal matter. Better wrap it up, then. We don't really encourage staff and students to socialise, you understand, I'm sure. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. He's pretty solid. Maybe you should ask him out. I don't think so. Besides, I may already have my eye on someone. Oh, come on. You can't just say that and then not tell me. I'd love to, but I'm not allowed to socialise with students. You? Bye. See you tomorrow. That's embarrassing. I was just warming up for the gym. I'm a nose. Had one too many at the RSL, did you, Alf? It's the flu, it's not a hangover. And it's not the plague, either. What are you looking for? There's something for me head. Is it bad? I'll probably miss the flame and dawn service. Tomorrow will be the first time in 30 years. Well, don't you think you should just stay in bed, just in case? I've got to find these tablets first. And what's with all the questions, anyway, eh? I mean, can't a bloke just be crook without being treated like a leper? I just... So I get sick myself. Go to the gym. Ah, oh, these flaming things aren't here. I'll have to go to the shops myself anyway. Uh -huh. No, you don't. Alf, you are sick. You're staying at home. I will go to the store for you. Oh, thanks, mate. Jeez, what do I do before you lobbed, eh? Yeah, I hear what you're saying, but this is a family tradition. At least... Well, it used to be. Sure, look, look, he's been making a lot of progress, but I, I just think it's still early days. You... I know, but there's no harm in asking him. It'd mean a lot to me if he came. And I kind of thought it might, you know, help him move on. Hello, I'm home. Put your clothes back on. Who died? We're just having a little chat. About? Anyone I know? Nick, please. Whatever. OK, um... Yeah, if Nicole's home, then Aiden shouldn't be too far behind her. This is about Aiden and me, not his grandfather. Yeah, for you, maybe, but I... Hey, Dad. G'day, mate. What's up? Uh, there's something I want to ask you. OK, shoot. I'll leave you to it. Sit down. So, what, did, what is it? Well, I was just thinking that since it's something that well, we always used to do together, that... <laughs> Dad, just spit it out. Well, tomorrow's Anzac Day, and I thought you might want to come with me to the dawn service, like we used to. Yeah, why the hell would I? 
Because it's a step forward and it might help. Yeah, how's that? After everything we've talked about, you expect me to go and worship that mongrel? This is not about him! Where are you going? Kitchen. That's, um, still allowed, right? Not till Aiden and his dad are finished. Are you joking? All right, well then tell me what the deal is with those two. Bedroom, now. Please. Do you even realise how hard it was for me all those years? Standing there, watching him with his mates and his medals. Hey, Aiden, Aiden. I'm sorry. I just thought that, you know... I guess I was wrong. Maybe I should go. Yeah, maybe you should. Okay, mate. Just now you know everything. Pretty stuffed up family, huh? Well, I don't know the whole story. Do I need to? I've got to go off to work, but if you need someone to talk to, you know where I am. 